Earlier this week, we had an official from the Department of Housing and Urban Development tell us on Twitter that she does not care if she gets popped for violating the Hatch Act. She specifically said on Twitter, there's a quote, what part of I don't give a shit do you not understand when people called her out for violating the Hatch Act? I think Kellyanne Conway saw this and she saw the headlines that this woman got from HUD and she wasn't gonna be outdone because after all, Kellyanne Conway is the queen of Hatch Act violations. So on Wednesday, Kellyanne Conway made her own statements about not giving a crap one way or the other if she's violating the Hatch Act every time she speaks. In fact, here's what happened. Kellyanne Conway's in front of the White House. Reporters are talking to her. Kellyanne Conway then goes into a tirade about how horrible Joe Biden is. Reporters then say like, hey, Kellyanne, by the way, you can't do that because you're violating the Hatch Act right now. Uh, You've gotten popped for that in the past at least twice. Uh, You got a third one on the way. Uh, Maybe just kind of tone it down a little bit because you're gonna get yourself in trouble. And this is Kellyanne Conway's verbatim response. Blah, blah, blah. If you're trying to silence me through the Hatch Act, it's not going to work. Let me know when the jail sentence starts. Are you kidding me? Really, is it? uh, All right, all right, all right, folks. Here's the thing, here's the thing. Kellyanne Conway, twice, has been confirmed to have violated the Hatch Act. The Office of Special Counsel within the White House, not Robert Mueller, special prosecutor, special counsel, has twice confirmed that yes, Kellyanne Conway violated the Hatch Act We know this for a fact. They then turn it over to the White House for disciplinary action. In both instances, the White House said, we don't think she did anything wrong. So we're not gonna do anything about it. When an official violates the Hatch Act, they're punished either with fines or with dismissal from office. The Trump administration has decided, not just with Kellyanne, but with other people, that yeah, we're not gonna do anything about it. Hatch Act violation complaints have risen by 30% since the Trump administration took office. And none of them are being punished for it. None of them are being fined. None of them are being fired for it. And that's why Kellyanne Conway can come out there with this attitude, blatantly flout the law and say, let me know when the jail sentence starts, blah, blah, blah. This is a representative of the office of the president, and I don't care who's sitting in that office, act like you're a grown up. Act like you have a little bit of respect for the rule of law. But no one in this administration does. Honest to God, not a single human being has regard for the rule of law that's working in this White House today. They don't, they don't. They're all, every one of them, God awful, disgusting, horrible human beings. And if you think I'm wrong, feel free to try to prove me wrong. But I've followed these people closely. I've seen their video appearances. I've read their quotes to you people. I know what I'm talking about. These are not decent human beings. And I think most of people watching this agree with me on that. But to any of the trolls out there who want to say like, how dare you speak so poorly of them? No, how dare they speak so poorly of the rule of law here in the United States? That's the question I have, because I don't care if you agree with it or if you disagree with it, that law is a law. Kelly and Conway has been confirmed to have violated it. And because she doesn't get punished, she feels like she has clearance now to go out there, openly violate it in front of reporters and then mock them when they bring up the fact that what she is doing is technically illegal. It's time for Congress to step in and act. It's time for them to pull in Kellyanne Conway, question her on the record, and then enact some kind of disciplinary action. They do have means to do this, and they need to do that. Because obviously, the Trump administration, everyone in that White House, is probably gonna high five her rather than try to fire her for breaking the law. Thanks for watching, everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos 
all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.